Um, right now, what I was doing, I was watching a stop class. Um, using my time, investing my time to learn new things, learn different ways to have multiple streams of income, more income that's more passive and not as, oh, I have some gnats in here. Hold on, catch it. This is my gnat water. <laughs> I got some vinegar and sugar in there and it's supposed to get these gnats. Um, they're probably from the plant. So anyways, yeah, what I'm doing, what I do in my spare time on my office days, the days that I dedicate to more behind the scenes stuff or this, this stop class I've been kind of doing every day because for me, it's heavy. It's like a lot, a lot of heavy lifting. So how I get through that heavy lifting is I take it little by little. I'm um, in little sections, in little segments, because it's a lot to learn, and then I'm already doing a lot, so I do it like 30 minutes by 30 minutes, and actually today, I did a full, about an hour and 30 minutes, I did a full hour and a half of class, and I also did like some application, I use Robinhood, Fidelity, Weeble, and a few other apps, um, it's a stock class, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just like learning. It's funny. I went to business school. I took numerous finance classes. I was an econ major. And uh, and I even worked, worked in investments for a while. I never even, I'm like, I'm still trying to figure and understand um, stocks, <laughs> how to invest. Like I said, looking for different ways of um, producing income this way, more passively. So that was something that I was just doing. I just cut that off. Um, then what I'm also doing is considering the uh, mental break that I had to about two weeks ago. Um, I'm restructuring my schedule, my my plan, my grand scheme. <laughs> For the end of the year and how I'm going to do the, end, the rest of the year's restocks, what products we're going to be offering and how we're going to offer them in different segments to make it manageable. Um, also working with different people to um, have days where, okay, I have, um, which I've already been starting on, but like, I guess the stress of it all and like putting it all together, the anxiety, like, okay, it's finally happening how, finally happening how I've been seeing it. I hope I'm raised enough to see how I'm not looking all low and whatnot. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm doing in the middle of doing. Um, I have my planner. I have my book. I, this, this little, this half right here this is from a different planner set that i got like two years ago this is a great leather planner and you can like take you can stick a book in there which i did this is a separate buy from target a nice little cute book it matches my planner that i got from amazon <laughs> i don't even really see the color is it sometimes even when, when i pull it out so i just stick it in and then this goes with me everywhere um i just stick it in my purse perfect size and i have a planner i have my notepad with just how this have personal and business stuff in here. One day I'll be able to separate the two, but right now they're together. Um, what else? I have my recipe area of where I write down all my recipes and I've been telling myself for the longest that I need to compact that. I actually started doing it in this book, compacting all my recipes that I would write in random places. If you're creative, you know, sometimes things just come for the moment while you're doing it. <laughs> and you just go back, okay, and write it down. Yeah. So this is where I attempted to lock it in. This is falling apart, so. And I also have, I also utilize Google Sheets, which is a great place to, um, it's a free, free Excel, basically. And it goes everywhere with you. You can access it on your phone a lot, even at Microsoft. So that's what I've been using. This. Uh, it's supposed to be there sitting there like that. Um, Alright. So, 
just giving you all a quick update on what we got going on. Also to try to record some different types of content. Um, so I'm going to do different YouTube videos, more business relation related YouTube videos, some more behind the scenes as far as like how the businesses are actually run. A lot of people, they see the glitz and glam of the after pictures, the beautiful soaps, the beautiful, the beautiful products, the mesmerizing products, and they want to get into it. But it's a lot more that meets the eye that goes on here on a day-to-day -day basis, on a week-to-week -week basis that caused me to... <laughs> Let's break. As much as I have it together, um, I'm working on my flow. I'm work, working on my flow. I'm working on keeping things more organized um, and more balanced. So, how? I have 55 more minutes. 30 more minutes of this class. I'm going to leave this for tomorrow. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to plan it right now. So, I. Um, I read a lot of books. I got this in particular, this hint, this tip from Alakay from Rochelle Graham. Um, Alakay Naturals is her business. Her name is Rochelle Graham Campbell. <laughs> um, which is to do the light, the heavy lifting, like the harder stuff, the, the stuff that you find harder at the beginning of the day. So, Mondays for me are kind of like my planning days. That's how it falls. And me being me, I'm a sacred woman, okay? So, according to Queen of Four and some ancient texts, like some way back in the day texts that actually work, um, which is, you know, the days they have meaning, they have every day carry a different energy. So, I try to like work what I'm trying to do according to that so if i need to like get on the phone and handle some meetings or there's stuff that i need to do on the phone where i have to where i have to talk and communicate the best day to do that is on wednesdays that and that correlates to the throat chakra so i when i do my when i do my monday planning i plan for like most of that business handling whatever i have to handle on the phone to be on wednesday business handling that's what i mean not like even personal stuff, because sometimes I just don't be feeling like talking. And then I'll have time for talking like how I used to. I used to be on the phone with like my best friends for like two, three hours at a time. I don't know where I got the time, had the time for that. But I'm trying to find this the page that... Um, anyway, so I got it from this book, Sacred Woman. That's how I plan it. You know what? No, I was actually trying to find it so I could start planning my week. That's what we're doing on camera today. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Okay. I hear a baby. That's not so good. So let's see. John. He's not crying. They're having daddy time. So I can have a few, like an hour. I'm not even going to say a few. Just a little bit. Probably not even that. But to try to get something with them here. I know you're at the end of the book, but where are you? You're on camera. You're supposed to be flipping through this like it's the Bible, honey. So, Sunday, she says here, um, the ancient principles correlates to will and determination. So, that's like the real start of the week. Like, you determine how the flow should go. That's probably the day I should plan. <laughs> but then it's also the day that I decide, that's like my cleaning day, Sunday. It's like my cleaning and organization day, which I've used. So, Sunday... It's cleaning day. We're gonna just put that in the planner. It's about will and determination. I'm determination to keep keep a 
clean, a, I'm determined to keep a clean workspace. All right, we're good. I'm gonna make sure y'all be able to see me. I'm determined to keep a clean workspace. I'm determined to, so I did that. I cleaned the studio, organized everything yesterday, and I cleaned the kitchen this morning. Hey, sometimes with two kids, I need to take that morning out of vocabulary. We're not morning anything. We're happy. We're living. We're lit. We're life. So this AM, I woke up about a six o'clock. Now I woke up before that, but around six, six thirty, I cleaned the kitchen. So I, I was very pleased with that. So cleaning day. What I did is going back just when I look back and I see a packed calendar, I feel good, even though <laughs> when I'm retrospectively recording, it's okay. Cleaning that at um, the studio, and I, and I did some dishes, the studio dishes, of course, anyway. And then I also did the kitchen in the AM. And I just put it when I did it, just to like, for accountability purposes, so I can get better. Or to track, not even get better, it's just what it is. And then on Mondays, which is today, is all about being the divine mother, the divine teacher. And I guess this would also, this will correlate to what I'm doing um, right now, which is teaching and showing more of the behind the scenes stuff, which is something I'm going to do also when I'm teaching, when I'm recording, when I'm creating videos to teach. You know, it's a plan set up the days. Sometimes, that, sometimes what I've been doing is like, I feel creative, I get in and create, but I can't do that anymore. I have to like plan my days out more accordingly. So on Monday, divine mother and teacher. A mother is the first. Your mother is your first teacher, okay. Mothers, they just teach naturally, but not just mothers. But I'm a woman, so that's what I relate to. So. Right now in this video, I'm teaching you more of the behind the scenes, how I plan my way, my day, showing you, kind of like mothering you in a way. <laughs> Just being an example, mothering myself, teaching myself, because it's only me and this camera that has this beautiful crystal on there and this bright lit ring light that's just like <laughs> making me feel good as I um, record this content. So Monday, I'm gonna put it here so I feel good. We are recording um, office day. Recording office day. Record office day. Um, and it's it's we're talking, we're learning from each other because everyone's gonna comment and give me advice and tell me how what they do, and then someone else will be will be inspired to create a similar video, and then I'll watch it and be like, oh, this is something I can, that can help me better my days. Um, what else did I do today? I cooked, cleaned, like I told y'all. I was definitely a divine mother's day. My children slept like in little small increments throughout the day today. They didn't take their usual, or Xavier didn't even take his usual long nap, so but that's okay um and then this is my teaching woman here and then tuesday is about being the warrior more of the go-getter energy from sunday the will and determination but it's like more it's more like when you have a battle like if you know you're gonna have a tough issue that week that you know that's tough for you. It's going to be a little battle for you, too. They'll be the best day because then you're like, okay, you're going to bring forth your strong power energy on that. So what do I have that's going to be a battle for me on Tuesday? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But anyway, we're recording the office day. So Wednesdays, we talked about that. Thursdays, craftsmanship, creator. So that on Thursdays is when I do a lot of my formulating. So... Uh, like my like before you teach before I try to teach you how to do something I have to do it, learn to do it myself and make sure it works um, you know there's a whole process to releasing the product and then it's like okay now I can show you behind the scenes and how I do it and, you know that how I do it is more on the Mondays and then the two Thursdays would be like the mad scientist the that's how I look at myself I'm not a mad scientist I'm not angry um, but like 
I don't know, the creative genius, boom, that's the word, the creative genius at work formulating these products. That, that's, that's the Thursday. And then on Fridays, nurture and divine love. I'm just really in these business-wise, not family-wise. Nurture and divine love. Um, hmm. That would be something I would give you more content um, that features the family, right? And then Saturdays are for grounding. Um, Saturdays for grounding. That would that should take Saturdays off then. <laughs> or it's a Friday. What are the, I need I need a day off. Sunday's a day off. My bad. Sunday, but that's cleaning. Is that really a day off? That's not a day off. That's that's not a day off. I need a real day off. Where it's like Friday. Friday, like love on yourself, divine love, self care. Self care day is Fridays. That's what we're doing. Hi. And in walks is over. See your mouth. Ear. And Mr. Lewin. <laughs> Come on, Zoe. What y'all doing? Trying to put clothes in here. She feels a little warm. Mm. Trying to put weird. more clothes on her. Oh, yeah. This is home. Oh, love y'all. Okay, so yeah, I went through all the days of the week. I was just doing a little office video. Um, like an office day video, like what goes on on the office day, example. We were listening. Oh, you were? Of course you were. <laughs> the walls are thin. <laughs> um... Yeah, so that was, I just went through all the days of the week, so we're done with that. And then Zovia wants to scratch and write. So, we got some paper here for you. You have your um, crayons are, are out there. But you guys gotta put more clothes on me. You wanna write? Yeah, what you gonna she write? Sucks. What is the mascotti? What is the mascotti? Come, 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 educate us. Sorry, come, educate us. <laughs> we have some here. Uh, Demasca tea, is that how you say it? For real. Demasca tea. Castor oil. No, you come come oh. tell us. You want me to get on camera? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you put that on your chest? I don't know nothing about this. This is something that's in your culture. Right. In the Haitian culture, if you're if you're a brother, if, you, if you know what this is, you know. But if you don't, this is Demasca tea. This is castor oil. Mm -hmm. Haitian people use it for everything. They rub it on your chest. It's kind of like Vicks, but better. Because it's from the air. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you rub it on your chest, rub it on the bottom of your feet, so you can, so the sickness can leave your body. Whatever's in there that's not making you feel good, that has you feeling warm, that gives you high temperature, our parents would use this religiously. Ah, that's what y'all did. Okay. Yeah. All right, Zoya. Your daddy's going to put some, what is it called? Damascus. The mascati. Yes, you say it better than me. <laughs> That's why they make fun of me. <laughs> no, I took French in high school, so. <laughs> and then I always, when I um, when I was younger, I would always copy. I liked how Haitian accents and Nigerian accents sound. It was just unique, so I would copy it. Yeah. <laughs> really? Because we were terrified of it. Especially if we got yelled at. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she doesn't want to leave. Can you yell that for what? For saying it wrong? For talking back? Anything. <laughs> Anything that didn't fall into the Haitian parenting guidelines. Mm -hmm. You can yell that. Get you a Zopo. Or you just just go back in your room and pretend you're reading. Well, Zobia, we have 
evolved from this. Yeah. So you're lucky. <laughs> you won't be getting that treatment, but I know how that goes. I don't know how small this one. So anyway, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed a bit of the flow of the Monday, which was teaching. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, happy Monday, y'all. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Um, 